Hi Stampers, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. Today I wanted to share with you my version of the cute little Easter basket that's going around right now. I think they are so cute and I wanted to make a new little basket this year, not like the usual ones that I make. And so I looked around and I found a couple different ones. This one is very similar to In the Pink Designs, one that she made. I just thought I would try to do it myself and find one to give to my grandkids. And I thought that all of you would like to make some of these as well. So let me go over what I used really easy quick um, this is the last one I made and I'm using the squares this time the first time I did the circles just like um, in the design did hers but this time I'm using squares on the front with the cute little bunny from springtime joy stamp set really cute stamp set um, I wanted to do the lamb, but I'd have to do a bigger basket because he would be, she'd be too big to put on here. So I just did the bunny. Then I used a piece of cardstock. We're doing a pink one today. This is Rococo Rose, and this is cut at seven by six and a half. And I'm going to show you how to score that and cut it. I've used three different square dies. This one is the scallop square, and this one is the fifth from the smallest in the scallop square die on here. These are the layering squares. That's the fifth from the smallest. Then I use the fourth from the smallest layering squares that's not scalloped. So you'll count down like one, two, three, and then there's that one, the fourth. And then from the stitch shape dies, I use the second from the smallest square. So those are my three little dies that I used. Then I used more Rococo Rose. This is a strip that is cut at six and a half by three fourths. Then I have a piece of the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper and I wanted it to match this. This could go with Blushing Bride as well, but I'm using it with the Rococo Rose. This one is cut at a half an inch wide and six and a half inches long. Then I have two little rectangles of the same designer series paper and these are cut at two and a fourth by one and three fourths. And these actually go on the end of the basket. Um, I think that's all that I have cut out right now. This is Stampin' Up! Simply Scored. So what I did, I scored it at two inches. I put it in. This is the seven inch side. It doesn't really matter which side. Around the whole piece and score it at two inches all the way around okay so now you're going to turn it to the seven inch side right here I'm at seven inches so you see here where we have this score line here and this score line here we're going to score from the five eighths inch down to that first score line so you've got a little piece right here. And I'm using the small end on my stylus. And you'll see why after a while. Or at one and a fourth, down to that first score line. Come over at five and three fourths. And six and three eighths. Turn it to the opposite side, directly across from where you just scored. And you're going to do it again. Five eighths down to that first score line on this side, one and a fourth, five and three fourths, and six and three eighths. So that's the scoring that we needed to do. To take my 
bone folder and score on the four sides. You don't need to score those little ones, just the, the two inch ones all the way around. So take your paper snips and cut right in the center of the score lines that you just made. Try to get it in the center of each one, plus that center line there, the two inch line. So again, just go right up to the score line. Try to get in the center of this score line. And cut it right up to there. Then do the other side. There's one more on this side. Then flip it over to the opposite side and do the same thing. So this is making little strips. I think it looks like wood strips, kind of, when you glue these to the front and the back of your little basket. I think it just is adorable. That's why I chose to make this one. One more. Okay. Now, turn these in and have this one out. Bring back in Simply Scored tool. Take the stylus. You can use the big or the small tip. And then just come down a quarter of an inch across this top piece right like that and that is going to fold in like that so now turn these little pieces down put this back up here on this side and do the same thing go from a quarter inch score right across that little flap all this does is make a nice edge on your basket okay let me put this out of the way so, I will get my silicone mat and put it under here. Take my Stampin' Seal Plus. You can use Stampin' Seal Plus or you could use the tear and tape, but it's super easy with this. So, when you put this on, it is going to be larger than the little piece that you're applying it to. So just take your finger and roll that back over and then turn that down. Flatten it with your um, do the same thing again. I have found a light hand works with this particular seal plus. I try to push it down too hard and I rip my paper. So if you have that same issue, try using a light touch with it. It's really, really good adhesive. Now, Now that I have all that on there, take this, put it in the center about a fourth of an inch from the top, then take the other side and do the same thing. Take your second piece and allow about a quarter of an inch here Put the other side 
and then your two little top pieces almost make it straight across. Isn't that cute? Now turn it over and attach the other side the same way. Put this until it's about a quarter of an inch from the top of the basket. Lay the other side over top. And then about a quarter of an inch distance here and here. It just makes a real cute little pattern. And then your top piece. Isn't that adorable? So you've just made your little basket. I think that's so cute. Now, let's take, bring it back, and put some, let's just use glue on this one because it's small. And attach this to our cardstock. Right like that. Now, we will put a little bit of glue at the end of each side of our handle. And before I put this on, I wanna bend it just a little bit with my bone folder, so it will bend, curve like a handle. There we go. So put this Tuck down inside between the basket inside and those little panels that you just glued. And hold that for just a few seconds until the glue dries sticky. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Tuck that down in there and hold it. And now we have our handle on. Next, let's apply glue side. Then put it right on this side, right like that. Just give it a little rub. How cute. Take the other piece and do the same thing. Now, I just think this will be so cute for Easter. I have my grandchildren and my kids' gifts already bought, but I thought this would be cute just to add some maybe jelly beans or uh, Reese peanut butter egg <laughs> or something yummy like that, or maybe some money. Some cash always, they like that. I'm just sticking this in here a little bit. Let's take these two white stitched squares and the cute little bunny stamp. You could actually stamp this before you cut it out if you want to. I guess I'll just use my mat because I don't know where I put my other one. Okay, so just put these on here, ink this up, and just stamp it on there. Hold it, cute, and then do it again. Two, cute, isn't it cute? I think it's just precious. Okay, so now make sure, since I used my little silicone mat to wipe off the ink so I don't get it everywhere. Next, in some blends. I'm using Light Smoky Slate for the actual bunny. And I just went around the lines to make a little shadow on the little paw 
nose there, around the ears. Next, I used light petal pink for the cheeks and inside of the ears and the nose a bit, just a little color. Now, light Rococo Rose Blend. I will do the light blends on the smaller flower. And as you can tell, I am just simply coloring it. Then for my darker, I'm gonna do the larger. Oh, I think I wanted this one darker too. Let's just go over that. There we go. Now I'm taking the light. This is Granny Apple Green. The light Granny Apple Green for those little leaves. And then if you want to, you can add a little bit of dark. Just a smidge. And I'll do the other one later. I put two in each kit so you could put these little things on each side, which will cover up your little seams here. So I attach these with dimensionals because I love to use Dampen Dimensional. I need to buy stock in dimensionals actually because I use them all the time. <laughs> so this has such a teeny tiny little border and I got it crooked. So you don't want to get it crooked like me. There we go. Try to get it straight. Now this is the square of Blushing Bride. I will have all the directions and measurements on my blog whenever you want to make sure you have all your right sizes. Again, I'm putting on dimensionals on the back. My first layer here is the Rococo, and then the bigger plain square is Blushing Bride. And then, of course, the basic white that we stamped the bunny on. So now, just put this on top of here. And the way I put it on is I glue it. And so I just want the glue on the handle part and the bottom part of the square. Okay, so just like that. Oops, go up a bit. Here we go. And then just hold that down for a second till it sticks. It does stick pretty quickly, but you do have a little wiggle room with it. Now, I love the pastel pearls. And they look really cute on this basket. So I'm taking the pink ones and putting one in each section of like the little slat, I guess you would call those. So there's one, turn over, two, Looks like it came out just a bit here. I'm going to add a drop of glue. And of course, I got way more than I needed. But hold that for a second. See how fast that dries? Okay. Now, I'm 
can do the other side of the front. But actually, both sides will look the same when you're finished. I'm just doing the one side just so it doesn't take up so much time to do the video. I always try to make my videos short and they always end up longer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm slow. Okay, so there isn't that absolutely the cutest thing. I thought it was adorable. So that is my little Easter basket that I wanted to share with you today. Here's the Rococo, the old olive. This one is in Seaside Spray. One last thing you could do is to add ribbon. I didn't do it on this one, I did on the others. So I just took the polka dot tool, the white, just tie it on here and tie a little bow. But I just think it's so cute. So there it is. And then you just even out your bow and trim off if you need to trim off. Okay, let me trim off this long piece. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope you will join me again real soon. Bye.